For this show you know workers must replace a cylindrical pipe with a radius of 0.4 meters and a length of 12 meters. The new pipe has a radius of 0.6 meters, but the volume must remain the same. How long must the new pipe be? So we need to calculate the volume of the original pipe to see what it is we're replacing. Volume of a cylinder is pi r squared h. So for the original pipe, that's 3.14 times, original pipe was a radius of 0.4 meters. So times 0.4 times 0.4 times a height of 12 meters. This will give us the volume of the original pipe, which is 6.0288 meters cubed. Now, so we know the original volume, the new pipe has to have the same volume, but it's going to have a different radius, so we need to work backwards. But we can still use the same formula, volume is equal to pi r squared h. This is our new volume, so 6.0288 meters cubed is equal to pi, which is 3.14, times our new radius, which was 0 decimal 6 meters, times 0 decimal 6 meters, times h, that's what we don't know and that's what we're solving for. So this is the equation that we're working with. I'm going to multiply these numbers together just to get it down to one number. So 3.14 times 0.6 times 0.6 works out to 1.1304 uh, meters squared. That's times h. And we still have the volume over here as well. We're trying to get h by itself. Right now it's being multiplied by a number, so we need to do the opposite of multiply, which is divide. So we're going to divide both sides by 1.1304 meters squared. When we do that, that divides out to that, leaving you with just h on the right. And then the number on the left, 6.0288, divided by 1.1304. Uh, looks like it works out to, well, 5.33 repeating meters. So that is our new height. Um, and it looks like it's actually five and a third meters. So, the new pipe must be five and one third meters long. And that's the solution for this show you know.